Okay, a quick reflection on LLMs. Will we be running out of data? And what leads me to this um, quick reflection is the following, is that I just watched a, um, a talk by Ilya Suskever and where he uses the um, analogy, the phrase, um, data are fossil fuel. And what he means by that is that it will be exhausted one day. We have data and just like with fossil fuel, we'll be pumping petrol oil out of the uh, ground and one day there won't be any left. So what will we do? Um, some people say we'll be producing synthetic data and these will be worthless because it will be like incestuous um, use of what humans have been saying or writing one day and books and conversations and whatever and these machines will be talking about it between themselves and of course it will be degrading little by little if only because these machines hallucinate um, this is not the way it works uh, if you think about synthetic data why would they be of a lower quality than uh, what we've got already? Do we mean to say that if the conversations have been recorded and they have been recorded between human beings and LLMs since LLMs became, uh, how would I say, good interlocutors, um, if we mean to say that that is of a lower quality of conversation between human beings, this is completely silly if you say that you never use an LLM um, the LLM boosts your way of thinking it comes up with things which are people say well it's just statistical uh, you know uh, reshuffling of data that are there well this this was true before 2017 before the transformer was invented but the transformer is, is, is not just using st statistical uh, ways of, of, of predicting the, 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 what will be, be said next. Quite on the contrary, it's a, um, it's a powerful machine which, which is based on algebraic methods and, and not uh, purely statistical or probabilistic ones. And it is creative, it, it comes up with new ideas and so on. If you think it's not creative, as I said, uh, it means you've never used an NLM. So these conversations between human beings and LLMs, these are new data and they'll be used and they're produced by the billion uh, every day. So this is something more. And if you assume that there will be a lowering of the quality, then think of the following. Think of the what happened, the qualitative jump that occurred uh, when we pass from AlphaGo to Alpha Zero. Okay, AlphaGo started working against human beings and um, the first big defeat for humans was that match between uh, the uh, Korean champion uh, Lee Sedol uh, against AlphaGo and um, Lee Sedol was beaten by was a score for four for the machine, one, one for him. When we move to Alpha Zero, which unlike unlike AlphaGo, which was essentially fed um, matches between human beings that had been recorded, Alpha Zero played against itself, and um, it cloned itself into well into two versions, and they were playing against each other and they were just as good as uh, one was just as good as the other because they were actually clones that they were you know two versions of the same thing but it kept improving because there, there was a reward um, function that made them encourage them to win in, in, instead of, 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 of losing um, if we recorded all the um, the matches between two versions of um, Alpha Zero getting increasingly better. By the time we get to the um, threshold where that machine becomes first as good as Alpha Z Go, and that becomes much better uh, because I remind you that in the uh, first match between um, Alpha Zero and Alpha Go, um, 
alpha go was beaten uh, zero to to 100 um, then there was something called the um, alpha go grandmaster and there the score uh, between the grandmaster version of alpha go and alpha zero was uh, 89 to 11 the uh, alpha zero won by to 89 um, wins uh, versus um, 11 losses for um, for alpha go if we recorded all that especially from the time when alpha zero becomes better than alpha go we have plenty of data and these are of matches where a human being has no chance whatever of winning if if uh, alpha zero wins against alpha go which itself beats humans in a quite a decisive way then we have extremely good um, plays being recorded why wouldn't those be used as data they are data they're not human they're machine data but we know that there are better quality that whatever humans might, may still produce by playing uh, playing go between them between themselves they are of metric qual better quality this example i think should un underline underlines and emphasizes that we will not be running out of data and that the data will be uh, getting by machines by playing or talking to each other will be of a higher quality than what we have uh, so far and these if, if these are used for further pre-training of um, coming in the future pre-training of machines these machines will keep being better and uh, we will not be running out of data and the data we will have will be of a higher quality than those we had before first people we, because we will have the category of uh, human beings um, in, in interplaying uh, having conversations with with the machine and second because we will have a conversation between the two machines which are much better than the human being as the example of alpha zero uh, shows in a very compelling way i would say all right okay this is a quick quick reflection on will be will we be running out of data in the future for llms um, I think I've given here some evidence that, that it won't be the case. Bye.